Hi everyone, my name is Yi Wang, current work as a postdoc research associate in Bristol Comdes Institute. Thanks for attending this conference, and I'd like to use this opportunity to talk about my product, From End to Start, a machine learning driven automated tool for mobile design optimization. This product was supervised by Professor Stephen Hollett and Dr. Johnson Bernou. The start point of the research is based on the fact that dimension intolerance in complex part is critical for structure assembly. For this airspace can be as tight as 0.25 mm. And when we look at the parameters that affect the dimension tolerance, we may notice that the tooling accounts for a large part. On the other hand, the mode 2 is a very expensive single part and too costly to modify what's made and the full-scale part production began. Also, with the increase size of and the complexity of the part we want to generate manufactured nowadays, the traditional industrial experience-based trial and error methods become increasing unlikely. To tackle this challenge, we are aiming for a full digital model transformation. It was founded by NCC 30 program and started in May this year. Several May challenges are listed on this slide. While the previous work in our group by Jonathan Bernou lay a good foundation to handle these problems. For the costly simulation of thick part using ply-by-ply -ply modeling approach, a harmonized modeling method was proposed, which can be 1,000 times faster than the previous one. Also, a physics-based mod material model was developed that can be well capture the complex material behavior in cure consolidation stage. The whole process will be uh, designed into four different stages. In the first two stages, we focus on transform the cut of the desired part into the FE model and run the consolidation simulation under multiple cases. The results will be then used into the third stage, the machine learning driven optimization to obtain the optimum parameters for mode design with no defects generated. In the last stage, we would conduct the experimental validation. In the first stage, automated tool construction, apart from NCC, that includes most of the complex features in reality was used. The transformation from the input 3D card file to the output FE model was achieved by writing a Python processor. The information in the CATIA part will be imported as HDF5 format and used as input for the processor. Several different functions were defined and to do the refine of the basic mesh and to distance calculation between different layers and the layup information on each ply. The layup mapping and the thickness mapping will come together to assign on the nodes to generate the 3D FE part with layup information. One thing to mention here is since the desired part is corresponding to the cure state. Therefore, there's a need to update the geometry information to pre-consolidation state. The processor provides a feasible way to do this by update the thickness of each ply. The top left is the output of the first stage automated two. A full consolidation model was constructed as output. There it can consists of three different parts, the top compaction mode, the bottom mode, and the, the middle desired part. The boundary settings and cure cycle will be set as a reality, and the, the defects generation will be set, used as the final output for simulation. In this case, the simulation will run more than 100 cases with varying the stiffness in different positions of the mode and the temperature of the two. The data generated will be used to build a Gauss processor emulator, and the accuracy of surrogate model will be accessed by other simulation cases. The final output is trying to give optimum parameter for the mode design with no defects generated. And that's what we are focused on now, and hopefully we can get some good results in the near future. Well, this is the end of my presentation. For any questions, you can send me an email. Thank you.